Okay, now here's how we are getting the fuel pump out of there. We took the ring off, we took the bolts off, we took the clips, and now we're going to proceed to uh, pull the pump out. So to access the fuel filter, fuel pump in this uh, Yamaha HO, it's a high output engine, but it doesn't have the supercharger. Um, fuel pump is in there and the tank and the filter is there. So this little video shows you how to do it. In my case, I was having problems wasn't getting full power. I had this thing parked in a container for quite a few months, COVID challenges. Yeah. I was on the water and I sloshed the thing around left and right as hard as I could. And then I seemed to get full power, which said, uh, which made me believe it was a plugged fuel filter. Okay. Um, so we decided let's take the fuel filter out and uh, clean it up and, uh, and see if it fixes it. One of the more challenging parts when you get started is to take off that little retaining clip. Uh, there's a green one right there on this fuel line. It's the same clip as here on the, uh, the manifold. Okay, so study how it works. There's the longer one on each side has to come off first, very gently. Don't break it. It's probably a uh, tough to get part if you're not at a dealership. And so that's what it looks like. I used just a little piece of uh, emery wood uh, just to use it to help pry it up and being gentle, toothpick will work. And uh, like I say, that was the most challenging part without the right tools. I also made a little hook on the bottom of a chunk of haywire just to help pull up that clip. So you can only do this, you can only work with one hand and it is your left hand. So I'm a right-handed guy and it wasn't really, it wasn't too difficult. Okay, we got the fuel pump out and it was a little bit of a Houdini maneuver trying to uh, get it out. We had to rotate it and twist it to the front and rotate it and pull her through the back. And then some more Houdini maneuvers getting it around the engine. <clears throat> okay, there it is. And we had to take the bottom part off and these, uh, this is the electrical one from the top. It was plugged into there. And this one here, one of those funny clips, you had to squeeze the ends on it. So we were able to stick through the screwdriver through those holes to get it. And it just pops off, no twisting or turning. So it looks like the filter's inside here and we got some more of these clips uh, that we gotta deal with. You know, we're at this stage. Uh, these clips here had come, come apart there and we're just starting to take it apart, but it looks like there's some resistance and this line here uh, is attached way down there. So I'm going to actually take that solenoid. It looks like a solenoid was probably the motor. I'm going to take that off and, and hopefully we can find that filter. Okay, it came out uh, just as planned here. There's an O-ring on the bottom. There's a little bit of crap in there. Uh, but I believe my problem is the gel in the filter. As this fuel was gelled up from uh, being stored in a hot container for a real long time. Okay, you better take these little clips out here. More of those. This one's a little challenging. Like okay, we got the, uh, we had to push the pump out of there because it, uh, uh, I couldn't get this filter itself off. Uh, okay, we got the how. filter off. It just uh, pries off of, uh, off of here. Uh, comes apart one way and it should go back together one way. Okay, we'll look inside the tank. Got the camera here. It's inside we're still full with gasoline black piece is the base of the pump one of the little knobs of the feet i'm not sure if i'll be able to get that gotcha Hey, thanks for putting up with this little video, but here's a couple tricks you use. Uh, here's a little hand wrench here I made. Just take some tape, twist around, uh, just like if you were to tape a hockey stick. So if you've ever taped a hockey stick before, you can make this little hand wrench. Another thing that's a good bonus in this vehicle, battery disconnector. You know these types right there? You unscrew that little blue cap and it disconnects your battery from the system. So uh, these things always have a brain and they're leaking power. Um, so anything you park for a while, cars, boats, the whole bit, that's a really good idea.